today a tutorial about the Decimator MDHX, uh, a device that we have been using for years now. It's uh, one of the uh, best army knife you uh, can have in your arsenal because uh, it's not only a converter, it's also a scaler. It goes from SDI to HDMI, but also from HDMI to SDI. And yeah, uh, overall, it's a good device to have on you for any production you're running with one of those cables. Well, you can also configure the decimator on the display. Um, this is more a tutorial how you can do it on your Mac and it's similar to how you do it on a Windows machine. Especially handy if you want to configure them before going to the event. So first up, let's download the software from decimator.com. Um, it's the USB control panel. Uh, you can use it for almost any decimator product. So let's quickly install it. It uh, installs like any regular OS X program by just dragging it into the applications folder. And there you have the USB control panel. I've hooked up the decimator with a USB cable. And for this tutorial, I also hooked up a SDI with a signal, in this case, 1080p59. So let's go to the control section. Uh, in the control section, you, in the control section, you tell the decimator what kind of output you want on the different outputs, uh, physical outputs on the device. So here I want the scaler to be output to the SDI. Uh, I've set the HDMI to HDMI, uh, HDMI in, uh, because I'm not using it. And then the scalar source, uh, so what source needs to be scaled. In my case, it's going to be the SDI in. And for scalar reference, I normally do this uh, source. So it picks the source that you are going to scale. Uh, this I normally don't touch, but if you are running different converters within your production, it could be wise to check if you need uh, A level or B level. And this one is most important. I've seen a lot of problems with that. People putting output one loop enabled. Uh, that means that output one will only be a loop out of your in source. Here you can have different settings for the scaling. So if you want to change the scaling, you just select the one that you want. So in this case, I want to go to 720p instead of 1080p. Uh, the other settings uh, you can change if it's necessary, but in my opinion or my experience, you don't really have to change it if you're running a simple production. So last up, you can change if you're using audio in your setup, you can change the group and the pairs that is sent over the out outputs. So if you have uh, different pairs, you can reroute those to the different outputs if you want to. Last is the setup tab. Make sure auto save setting enable is uh, uh, turn on because then if you lose power it will save the settings and the other two are more um, if you are going to use the display if you want to have it on all the time. One of the better converters slash scalers in their price point. Uh, hopefully you find it useful. 